Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is focusing on damage reduction, but more specifically, how Buster is trying to move Ramel is when combined with the staggers of the Kelm. Wolf Ramel is a new self-applied buff that provides damage reduction to players, but unlike Void over shields, it doesn't provide protection for the head, which is okay. As Wolf Ramel and Void over shields are similar in design for overall protection, I wanted to see what made Wolf Ramel more better in the long run compared to over shields. So, from testing, I found that not only is it easy to create them on the whim, but on its own, it's giving you a 60% damage reduction straight out of the package, which can be added on to resilient stat for even more damage reduction. However, what makes it more busted is how well it works with the stack helm. With a max stat resilient stat, you can get around a 79% damage reduction with infinite threadings via rifts, fast rift regen, and enhanced strand damage all from creating a single rift. So, let's dive in. To start, you're going to want to have Weaver's Call, where casting a rift will produce three Threadlings and deploy any Threadlings on you. You'll then want Mindspun Invocation to enhance your grenades, which will be Shackle Grenades. Consuming your grenades will grant you Weaver's Trance, which will suspend targets on final blow detonations. I had to think this part through, so I can get a good idea as to what type of build I should aim for. Going full Threadlings is a good choice because of the high use of this being applied, which we can expand on further with the aspects and fragments available. However, I had an idea to combine Thread of Warding and Wisdom together to create a non-stop Orb of Power and Wither Mail Generator. A Shackle Grenade Enhance can be used to integrate Wither Mail much more easier through the given fragments, and since we'll be stationary quite a bit, I believe that the chosen grenade fits quite well with what we're aiming for. So looking into how Woven Mail works, and how we plan to use Shackle Grenades, I decided that the following allows us to cover the build 50-50. A Thread of Warding, picking up an Orb of Power grants Woven Mail. A Thread of Wisdom, defeating a suspended target with precision final blows, creates an Orb of Power. A Thread of Generation, allows damage to generate grenade energy. And Thread of Evolution, allows Threadlings to travel further and deal additional damage. The main fragment you must have is the Thread of Warding, so that we can create Woven Mill upon collecting all the power. To make the build effective with the stack, I decided that putting the fragments into two camps will help with making the build work effectively in the long run. A Thread of Warding and Wisdom in Camp 1 will allow us to sustain Woven Mill through simple actions, while Thread of Generation and Evolution will support our grenades and make our ribs a bit more deadlier. Doing this method here allows us to lean into using our rifts more often with little fear of the threadlings being useless, but honestly, this can go any way the player likes. For the mods and stacks section, we have three key areas to invest in which is resilience, recovery and discipline, with discipline being the main priority stat to fully invest in. As shackle grenades are being used, we have feather generation also helping us out. We need to make sure that while stationary, we can make use of suspending targets while constant ability of creating woven melt at our demand. A tier 7 to 10 is what you want to stick within the range of as best as possible for that passive gain, but also because of the following mods that will be helping you out. Two grenade kickstart mods, one absolution mod, and two distribution mods. Although three ball mods can help with your cores, I decided that the distribution mods with their effects on our class ability will play a much bigger role in how constant we can activate them. Do remember that once we consume our grenades, we have a select amount of time to rebuild it again, which can be easily done through the combination of our rifts and grenade mods. The Threat of Wisdom fragment can allow you to create all of power as long as you net position kill while they are suspended, and this can work out with the build as long as we utilize our shackle grenades. This means, as long as we have a source of creating orbs of power, both our kickstart and absolution mod will assist us as long as we require them. The armor charges available are also going to help in the long run. Charged up and stacks on stack is going to give you a plus one to charge stacks, so you overall get four charges when active. Next, you're going to want to have the strand or connect cipher mod for producing orbs of power via connect weapons or strand weapons. I would also advise you to add on an elemental cipher mod depending on the core secondary weapon being used, just so you can produce orbs of power much more faster and through two different methods. Lastly, you may want to add on the Reaper mod for a great benefit of producing orbs of power after using your rift, which may be an overkill for some, but can be useful in some areas. Once all the mods are covered and grenade regeneration looks good, the rest of the stats can be as followed. Resilience can be tier 7 to 10, 
with 10 being the most best option when using the following build. Recovery is going to be tier 5 to 6 as the stack helm sort of effect will grant us a 50% rift energy when hitting critical health. Under no circumstances should you have this at tier 10, as this will go against the use of the stack the way it should be used. Now, lastly, the weapons being used will be strand related. However, while recording the clip, I was using the Quicksilver Storm without a catalyst completed just yet. Now, what you choose for the Prime is up to you, as you're going to be running and gunning at times, while also be stationary once your rift is active, so you want a flexible combo to pick. Quicksilver, as the main primary, fits the wall run and gun neatly, as we can utilize this grenade launcher attachment for getting rid of clustered enemies in one area. With our shackle grenade enhanced and consumed, Quicksilver will allow us to strike the target fast and accurately, while also spreading its effect onto others not caught within the suspend animation. Damage is pretty good from the get go, even without the exotic primary buff that went out, but once you get the catalyst for it going, you can make the use of unraveling rounds with even more additional damage, which can make up for what you have lost. I would also advise you to have a secondary weapon such as a grenade launcher or wave frame grenade launcher to help with killing suspended targets faster when things get hectic. The forbearance from the Val Raid is always a good weapon to pick thanks to its perk offered, while harsh language with destabilizing rounds can make cleanups even more effective while staying in a rift from long distance. So the stack, once it got its update quite a while back, has been fantastic in terms of providing users with a high damage reduction, all from creating a single rift with little cost to it. You can combine the exotic with generally any subclass you have in mind, and no matter what, it will do its job as long as you lean into effects, which is reach critical health to activate it. The great thing about this exotic trait is that it allows players to not build into recovery stat that much, as the amount you get back is pretty huge. Thus, why I said earlier, don't bother getting it to tier 10, as you're getting 50% rift energy back from region critical. Combining the damage reduction received from the rift with strand, for example, reminds me the same way that you combine the stack with stasis for the same similar effect. Stasis will allow players to actively freeze targets, or stand near a glacier created for an increased damage reduction with a given fragment. While strand will offer players a high damage reduction straight out of the pack, but on a limited time, Although both are generally wonderful, I found that Woven Mail Stag allows players to play more aggressive with the build and place down the rifts bang in the middle of an enemy group and still benefit from it greatly. You have the ability to create Woven Mail at a higher rate compared to what Stasis offers, while at the same time your rifts can produce threadlings on demand which don't feel useless on the grand scheme of things. This is the type of build you want to use when playing raids or mass of content or anything difficult as it will allow players to play both passive and aggressive with little change within the build itself. The strength of Strand for the community has already shown that just like Stasis, it can control an area effectively for long as long as you reinforce its strength. Although the stack is only useful for much harder content and most players have better builds that offer more to them, such a build can help newer players ease their way into the game while also learning how to build craft effectively. It doesn't require a lot from you but it does offer a lot to the general players, and this ease of use plus strength can help carry you in the most toughest content around. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below while at the same time if you enjoyed the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.